Good morning, almost afternoon. I hope you all are doing well. And if you're not, um, I pray that you will just listen in. Um, I want to lift you all up in prayer. So I have no idea what you're going through, but the Lord knows. He knows your struggle. He knows your pain. He knows what keeps you up at night. He knows what's breaking your heart. He knows the hopelessness you feel, the anxiety, the, the, the heavy weights of life that have come upon you. He knows whether or not you're battling depression. He knows that there, there might have even been a certain part of you that has died since a certain event in your life and you feel like you're never going to be the same again. But I want to tell you that Jesus Christ is your blessed hope. And he didn't come for the people who are well. He came to heal the sick. He came so the lame could walk. He, he came so the dead could rise. He came so blind eyes could see. And so I'm asking you to step out in faith today and believe that God is going to move mightily on your behalf today through this prayer. And I'm just going to let him lead, lead this prayer in the way that he wants to lead this prayer. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I lift up everybody that's watching right now. And I say, Lord, have your way. Have your way in their life. I ask for you to move mightily on their behalf. You know the cries of their heart, Lord. I ask that you get in that situation with them right now. I ask that you get in that situation with them right now and offer them comfort in their distress. Comfort where maybe they're not receiving any comfort from anyone else. Maybe they feel like everybody has left them. Maybe they feel like there's no one they can depend on. Maybe they feel like they can't confide in the people that are around them about what's really going on with them. Maybe pride won't allow them to come forth and say something is wrong. But whatever it is, Lord, I ask for restoration today. I ask for restoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Restore their mind, Lord. Take their anxiety and every restless thought and cast it out today. Cast it out today. May it be, be no more. May, if they're going through panic attacks, Lord, if they're going through panic attacks where they feel that tightening of the chest and they get nauseous, and they start to shake and their body temperature rises. Lord, may today be the day that that ceases to exist. May those panic attacks come to nothing in Jesus' name. I pray right now for anybody that's battling with depression. I pray that that black cloud of depression be lifted off your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name above any other name. In the name at which every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I pray that depression would have to bow today in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody who's battling with PTSD right now, post-traumatic stress disorder. I know a lot of you have suffered some kind of traumatic event. And the truth is that, that trauma, it inflicts deep wounds on our soul. Our soul is our mind, will, and emotion. So Lord, I pray right now that you would restore every afflicted soul every afflicted soul that has been traumatized by life, traumatized by molestation, traumatized by rape, traumatized by incest, traumatized by abuse, emotional abuse, emotional abuse, verbal abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse of every kind. Lord, heal their trauma. Spread the bomb of Gilead on that wound. I pray right now that you would uproot any bitterness, uproot any bitterness, any hatred, any vengeance, any anger that they have towards the people that caused the offense, any resentment, any unforgiveness, Lord. Because your word is very clear that if we do not forgive the people who have harmed us and the people who have hurt us, we will not be forgiven. So Lord, I pray that you will equip and enable everyone that is watching today 
to finally let that go, to lay it at your feet. They won't forget. The memories might still be there, but they will no longer haunt them like they once did. Instead, it will be, it will be, there will be a walking, talking testimony about your goodness and your grace and your mercy and your kindness and your favor and your delivering power. Hallelujah. I pray right now for anybody that just has all kinds of thoughts going through your mind. Maybe there are thoughts of um, condemnation. Maybe there are thoughts of you're not good enough. Maybe there are thoughts of you're never going to make it anywhere in life. Maybe there are thoughts of nothing is going to get any better than it is right now. Whatever that lie is from the devil, I cancel it. I nullify it. I uproot it. I cast it back to the pit of hell where it came from. Lord, silence every voice, every inner voice that is not of you, that has been speaking to them nothing but slander, nothing but condemnation, nothing but blasphemy, nothing but hope, hopelessness, nothing but despair, nothing but negativity. Silence those voices today in Jesus' mighty name and magnify your voice over all, uh, all others. I pray that you would speak to them in a still, small, audible voice today, Lord. I pray that they would know that they are fearfully and wonderfully made. I pray they would know that marvelous are your works. I pray they would know that they don't need any alterations. There, 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 there's nothing that needs to be changed about you. God made you the way that you are for a reason. And there's only one of you. And you are unique. And you, you, you cannot be cloned. There is only one of you. You are unique. You are special. You are valued. You matter. And I pray you would receive that revelation today in Jesus' name. For anybody that thinks that you have no worth, for anybody that thinks that you have no value, maybe you were rejected. Maybe you were abandoned. Maybe your parents didn't, didn't even want the pregnancy. Maybe, um, you, you were told, you know, by your own parents, the ones who were supposed to love and nurture you the most, that you're, you're a good for nothing and, and you're never going to amount to nothing and nothing but words of death were ever spoken over you. I cancel and nullify every word of death, every criticism, every insult that was ever spoken over you. And I pray that God, God himself, God, the Lord God Almighty, the one who created the heavens and the earth and everything above and beneath. I pray that that God, I pray that his power would rest mightily upon you today. I pray that he would deliver you from the outcome of all of those lies and all of those criticisms and all of those insults which, that were spoken over you. And that you would walk in true freedom knowing who you are, knowing you are enough. Knowing that that what was told to you, the devil is a liar. Knowing that what was told to you is a lie and you don't have to receive that and you don't have to come into agreement with that and you can let that lie go right now and you can let God tell you who you are. Lord, I pray that you would let them know who they are in you. Who they are in you. I pray that they would catch the revelation that they, they not only matter to you, but they matter so much that your thoughts of them outnumber the grains of sand on the seashore, if we can even fathom or comprehend that. That while they were being formed in their mother's womb, that you oversaw all the activity that was going on to make sure everything went according to plan and that you have preserved and kept them throughout their entire life. So if you're breathing today, the Lord is the reason why. I pray right now for anybody that's ever looked death straight in the face and thought that they weren't going to make it. Maybe you stepped outside of a car accident that you never, you, you never should have walked away from. Maybe you were in a domestically violent situation where logic tells you you should be dead. Maybe you overdosed one too many times and it's only by the grace of God that you're still standing here. So if addiction is your problem, or if codependency is your problem, whatever it is, Lord, I pray for deliverance today. I pray for healing today. I pray for resurrection today. I pray that every place within you that has died because of the atrocities 
in this life and because of the horrific things that you've gone through and the things that you've witnessed and the things that you've been on the receiving end of have affected you in such a way that you don't trust people anymore. I pray, mm, I pray that all distrust and, and suspicion and all of that nonsense would have to go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ right now. I pray that you would get the revelation that not everybody is your, your mother, not everybody is your father, not everybody is that uncle who harmed you. That there are actually good people in this world. I pray that you would find them. I pray that if you don't have good, solid friends, if you have friends that are only trying to drag you into their activities and get you to do the things that you know are not going to benefit you in this life, and they're only taking you straight down the broad road to destruction, they're only going to drag you down to the pit of hell, I rebuke that today in the name of Jesus. I say you will live and not die and declare the good works of the Lord. You will live and not die and declare the good works of the Lord. I command Satan in the mighty name of Jesus Christ right now to get his hands off every life of the people that are watching right now. Get your hands off of them, Satan. I rebuke you. The, the keys to death, hell, and the grave were conquered by Jesus Christ. His death, burial, and resurrection. You are under our feet. We have been given the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions, and we're trampling on them now. I trample on every single plot, plan, scheme, device of the enemy against you against your finances against your livelihood against your mind against your sanity against your physical health against your emotional health against how you see yourself i cancel it i nullify it i uproot it i tear it down right now in the mighty name of jesus christ come to nothing Come to dust and be blown away like shaft in the wind in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over every mind and heart right now with the people that are watching this. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. You will have the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. You will have the mind of Christ. You will get that revelation that you are his child. Hallelujah. You will get that revelation that you are his child, especially anybody You've been saved, but you questioned your salvation every day. Today will be the day that you stop questioning it and that you walk in the knowledge that you will never be perfect, but you are being perfected in Christ. Hallelujah. And Jesus is the only one who's perfect. He's the only one who's flawless. He's the only one who's blameless. He's the only one who's spotless. So I pray right now for anybody that has not confessed with their mouth and believed in their heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. That you would be drawn to the Father right now in Jesus' name. And that you would cry out for the Lord like you've never cried out for the Lord before. Because what have you got to lose? What have you got to lose? You've tried everything else. You've tried everything else. You've tried to find peace and solace and comfort at the end of that bottle. You've tried to find it when you stuck that needle in your arm. You try to find it, find it when you pop those pills. You try to find it every time you lay down with another woman or a man. You try to find it by becoming everybody's favorite and, and gaining all kinds of popularity and, and being the first to get the invite. But you know what? None of that sustains and none of that is going to fulfill you. So I pray right now. Ooh, I pray right now that you would catch the revelation that nothing that you have tried has worked up until this point. But today is the dawn of a new day. Hallelujah. And his mercy, his mercy is new every morning, every morning. Amen. So today is a new day. And I just pray God's mercy over you right now. I pray his mercy over you right now. I pray, I, I declare his favor and blessing over you right now. His delivering power over you right now. And I say, Lord, Lord, move mightily in their life. Take, take the scales off their eyes so blind eyes can see. I pray that you remove the veil off their heart, Lord. The veil that kept them far from you. I pray that any heart that has been rejecting whew, the Lord Jesus Christ, for whatever reason, maybe you've been church hurt. Maybe you were, you, you were hurt by people in the church. Either they, they gossiped about you, they lied on you, they falsely accused you, they sowed nothing but seeds of negativity and discouragement into your life. Maybe you were even molested by a pastor or a pastor that 
you had it put up on some sort of pedestal or whatever. He, he disappoints you. He disappointed you. He let you down because you were expecting him to be perfect, but only Jesus is perfect. I pray that anybody that's um, dealt with any kind of church hurt would be healed from that today, would be set free, set free from the mindset that all churches are the same. They're not. You need to find the one that's right for you. I pray that you would find the one that's right for you. I pray that the Lord would lead you to godly fellowship and a strong support network of like-minded believers and that they would speak life into you and not death. I pray that they would speak life and the word of God into you and not death. I pray for anybody that's feeling lonely or whatever. Maybe maybe you just need friends. Maybe you, maybe you uh, are hoping for, for a spouse at some point. I pray that the Lord would send you the person that's right for you. I pray that his will be done in your life. I pray that he would shut every door right now and seal it with the blood of Jesus. Every door that you've opened that was not meant for you to walk through. And I pray that he opens doors that no man can shut. I pray that he provides all kinds of opportunities for you that you never even thought were a possibility. I pray right now that if you're looking at a hopeless situation and you don't see any way out, you don't see how it's going to improve or get any better, you have no idea where the resources are going to come from. Everything right now looks like it's crashing down around you. You feel suffocated. I pray right now that you would get the revelation that God never leaves us or forsakes us. And he has never seen the righteous forsaken or his children begging for bread. And that the earth and the fullness thereof belong to him. All the silver and the gold belong to him. And if he's carried you thus far, he's going to get you the rest of the way. And just because you don't have it doesn't have any effect on him because there's storehouses in heaven. There's granaries in heaven that he can pour out in abundance at any time. At any time. And not because we deserve it, right? Because God's grace is his unmerited, undeserved, unearned favor. And the rain falls on the just and the unjust. So I pray that he would pour out of his abundant storehouses to provide for you today whatever it is you need. To, to keep that roof over your head. To keep that car that you drive from point A to point B every day. To be able to, to pay your bill. To keep your, your, your lights on. Your phone on. Your heat on. Your gas on. Whatever it is. I pray that if your, your cabinets are empty and you've got nothing in your refrigerator, that he would send angels of provision to your location and people would just bring you groceries or you would get a payment in the mail that you didn't even know was coming to you. I pray that somehow, some way, you would eat this month in Jesus' name. That he would take care of your every need. And I pray that you would glorify your father in heaven when he comes through for you and not forget him so easily. Don't be like the 10 lepers where only one was, one came back out of the 10. 10 were healed. One came back to thank him. 10 were healed. 10 were cleansed. Nine walked away. One came back to thank him. Don't let that be you. I pray that you would always have a heart of gratitude towards the Lord who's done so much for you. He's the breath in your lungs. Okay. He has, he has pre preserved and protected you. So every time you've come near death and that was not your portion and you're still walking and you're still breathing and you know that whatever that was could have been a whole lot worse is because God's hand was on your life and he protected you. So I pray that you would um, approach him with a heart of gratitude today and, and thankfulness. Don't ask him for nothing. Just, just thank him. Just thank him for always being there. Just thank him for providing for you, for being your strength on, on your weakest days. Thank him for keeping sickness, disease, and pestilence out of your body. And as a matter of fact, if you're dealing with any kind of chronic pain, sickness, 